Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 80 on this side. Then here we apply the power law of log logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 80 on this side. This next step here, we divide both side by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also divide this side by log 8. This here, log 8 cancel each other. And we have x equals to log 80 over log 8. The next step here, we can express 80 as 8 times 10. And what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8, which implies this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, it's same thing as log a plus log b. That is, all we have here becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. Then here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. That is here, log 8 cancel each other. We have one left, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 8. Then, next step here, also 10. We written as 2 times 5. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8. Then this also follows the law of logarithm and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 8. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. That is from here we can rewrite it as 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 cubed. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 cube plus log 5 over log 2 cube. At this year, we apply the power of logarithm. 3 comes there also here. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. Then here we have log 2 cancel each other. That is x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3 plus here also we can write as 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2. Then Next step here, we have 1 plus 1 over 3, this same thing as 1 number 1 over 3, which can be written as 4 over 3. That is, we have x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2. Then here we apply change of base, when we have log a over log b. This is the same thing as log A to base B. 
At this here we have x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 is 2. That is, we bring this together as one fraction. We have x equals to the SM made as 3. Here yeah, becomes 4 plus log 5 is 2. That is the value of x here we have 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. That is, what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2 over 3 is it equals to 80 on this side then here yeah, 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 is it equals to 80 on this side but this here yeah, this power multiplies 3 here yeah, cancelled each other and we have 2 raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2. This is equals to 80 on this side. Then here we apply the law of indices. Well, we have a raised to power m plus n. This same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Then here we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 5 is 2. This is equals to 80 on this side. And 2 raised to power 4, 2 multiply itself 4 times. That's 16, 10 times. Yeah. All this one we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. At this here we have 5. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And 16 times 5, of course, that's 80, which is equals to 80 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. And also join our membership package for access to more videos and exclusive packs. And see you next class. Bye for now.